New day, new map, guys. I know it's been out for a few days and I'm a little late to the party, but here we are, guys, spectating our first ever Fortune's Keep. Uh, we're starting off with quads right now. And look, it is kind of weird that we've got 50 people in here and there was, there was only 12 teams. I don't know how the math works on that, but apparently there's a lot of people queuing solo in this game mode. Then they probably should be. I do want to talk about a few things with this map that is a little concerning and confusing. One being, of course, the drop frames. I don't know if you guys are on PC or not, but if you are, you've probably experienced drop framage in uh, dense areas, buildings, etc. I'm not sure if it's like that on console, guys. Let me know. But the concerning thing about this for me is the fact that why the fuck are they still not testing their damn servers? Why are they not testing their updates? I, I don't know how many times you got to flop an update to be like, you know what we should do? We should test this shit out. The frame, the frame drop is for me has been almost unplayable. I've not been able to play it at all. And I'm really hoping today we can spectate it. But it's just concerning to me. I mean, games have had test servers and, and test players and, and just shit like that for fucking decades. PUBG still did it. PUBG was the first battle royale ever and they had that shit. But Call of Duty, no. Nah. They just they just throw it out there, pray to the masses and whatever happens, happen. Secondly, I love Fortune's Keep, and you know what? I'm not really that mad about it, but it is, again, concerning. Why the fuck, one, did they flip the map? I, just, I don't get why they did that. But two, they drilled a giant crater, ground zero, right through the map. Cracking up the map and shit like that. And I like Fortune's Keep before, personal opinion. But what do you guys think? How do y'all like the, the change of the map? It's almost to me like it, instead of making a new map, they just reuse this map, which I'm not mad at, but to make it their own and be creative and all clever and shit, they just destroyed part of it, which is funny because if you think back to Verdance, we asked for a new map after the first year, then they blew it up, and then we asked for another map, and they blew it up again. They just love blowing shit up. When they lack creativity, they reuse old maps, and they blow the shit out of them. It's just, it's a historical process. And again, I'm not mad at it, but to do it this many times, I think we need to start asking questions. Why? Why are we not actually developing new maps regularly you want to bring a map back fine sure but this often come on bro but before we go to the next rant here we are spectating the squad getting their first fight ever and uh it didn't go too well it looks like it was a 4v2 and for some reason our team is not with us surprise surprise now this is not one of those maps you really need to stack on there's so much cover and concealment around this map you can work your way in and out of buildings as long as you're good with movement if you're not good with movement you need to practice it and the way to practice that is upping your sensitivity up your sensitivity. You don't have to go 20 20, but if you're at like a four, five, six, it's gonna be real hard for you guys to work the corners. So if you go to challenge, you go to unchallenge, you're gonna be stuck there with your pants down. So I recommend doing that. But because of the amount of cover concealment throughout this map, there's no reason to really stack. It helps, but you don't need to. I love we're getting sniped at right now. We're going for the res. Great teamwork, dumb decision. Great teamwork. I fucked with it, dumb decision. Not for it. Is he doing it too? He did it too. Oh my fucking god. Wow. That's that's incredible. Hey, at least they're consistent and and on the same page. And look, dude, it's resurgence mode. If you're in a bad spot like this, just bleed out. Just bleed out. Your teammate's not gonna be able to get you, and it's kind of selfish that you're even asking him to. And the second second thing is a lot of times those resurgent timers you'll miss the respawn just because you're laying there with your finger in your butt so again if it's about if you got five ten seconds left on timer and your teammate can't get to you because it's a bad spot just fucking kill yourself off and respawn i i like the melee idea i do him and belt i think are both doing it but what's very concerning to me is the fact that we're doing nothing but looting the gas is coming in and we've got to really start getting kills What's the point of rocking melee weapons if you're not gonna get a kill with them? Is the gas moving in? The thing that concerns me with the melee guys, and, and I like it, I respect it, I wanna see melees. I think it's a clever way to play. I think it takes a lot of skill, but like we're using melee, we're not fighting anything. We're playing the edge of the gas and we're looting. Doesn't really make too much sense. I mean, play with what you want to play with, but if you're going to be playing back with range and stuff, I don't really think you have the skill, per se, to be using melee weapons. It's a very... It's a, it's a leveled-up ability. All right, here we are. Let's see. He's got stems, too. Let's see what happens. He might be able to pull it off. 
Is he able to get one? There's a second one. Don't go for the execute. Oh my god, I spoke too soon. No, nah, I still say about what I said. He used his teammate shooting at the enemies as a distraction to get away. So you might want to stem up. Okay. <laughs> Better stem. You might be able to pull something off, but okay. But yeah, look, still, still not a good move. He got the double kill, but it was all because his teammate was shooting the enemies and distracting them. Just straight up. He came from behind. Melee, he, 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 he melee both of them from behind. So not much to it, but we're sticking to it because why not? Why the fuck not? What the hell is this gun you're rocking, big dog? What are we watching right now? All right, one teammate's already backed out. Not surprised there. And there we go. Getting shot at. No fucks given. To your right, to your right. They fixed the audio for me. Apparently, they didn't fix it for a lot of players, though. I like the fact that our teammate was there to save us. And instead of us helping our teammate, he runs away. Nuts. You have... Well, you don't have smokes. He's got flashes with melee, which, which I can respect. I like stuns with melee. The problem with flash is the fact they can still run away. Most players, they get flashed. They're just running. So catching them is going to be very difficult. I used to melee for, for a long time in Warzone. We went on a 17 win streak with melee weapons and crossbows. So I know, I know a thing or two about melee weapons, man. It's a lot of fun. If you guys haven't tried it yet, I definitely recommend it. But just make sure you're, you're, you're playing inside buildings, covering concealment. Use your smokes, use your stuns, get flashes if you want. Flashes aren't a bad idea, but my struggle with, with flashes was, again, people would just sprint away and I couldn't catch them. Stuns on the flip side. You're getting shot from behind. You're getting shot from behind. Okay, fuck it. Stuns on the flip side, though, there's a negative to that. Is, yeah, they can't move, but they can see you. And you could get shot up that way, too. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck Counter Cutlass was doing, bro. I mean, hit indicator on the screen tells you where you're getting shot from. It just it blows my mind the amount of players that don't know this. I know you guys do. If you don't, I hope you learn something, but that's that's something we witness all the time. Someone be getting shot right in the back of the fucking face and be looking the opposite direction. Also, how do you feel about the update, man? I like the fact that the minimap shows a red mark on UAV now. I like that. Um, it's very clever. It's something I didn't really think we needed that I enjoyed. Second thing I like is the fact of the precision. I love the fact that the precisions actually lay out a marker of where they're gonna be landing at. That way you can dodge them. There's no more, oh my God, no notifications. Did not something I thought we needed, not something I really ever asked for or dreamt of, but they delivered it to us. So, I mean, two good ideas out of this update. I know we were trolling them on not being creative with map design, but we all know they suck ass at it. However, these, these, this little update was, wasn't too bad. Also, I like the XRK. Not a crazy sniper that you can just one tap headshot at range, which prevents camping, but for aggressive snipers that want to have that fun and that engagement, like me, it's a perfect balance for us. I wish it one tap headshot at range so you can contest campers, but it's a trade-off I'm willing to make. And I think it was their way of giving us one tap snipers that would hold people off from camping. I'm the way only guy. We're gonna talk about that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have the mental capacity to handle that right now. Not at all. Now, I have been sick the last couple weeks, which is why I haven't posted as much as usual. Apologies for that. So my SBM is really, 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 really loose right now. As you guys can probably tell. Somehow, Cutlass is rocking six. It's not a crazy amount of kills, but for him, this has got to be PR pace. You know what? I respect the aggression. I really do. I really do. I respect the fuck out of it. That's how you get better at the game. I was curious why he jumped off the hill into his imminent death, but you know what? He wants to get in fights. He wants to get better. This dude's trying it. I fuck with it. I respect it. Not the greatest aim in the world, not the greatest movement, but this man's out here fucking getting it, and that's why I love it. That's why I fucking love it. What is the hell? What? I added that too. Like, this is a perfect example of a player who's really not the best in the world, but he will be. If he keeps playing like this, your boy's gonna be a sweat crackhead in no time. I promise you that. This is how you get better. You put in the reps, you put in the time, you play like this. You don't have to have the aim like me. You don't have to have the movement like Jobo. You don't have to be the best in the world. But you keep putting yourself in positions like this, you'll be a demon in no time. And again, with the precision on the mini map, granted they had the counter, but even though you can see it, he still ran right into it, unfortunate. I'm a huge fan of the precision update. That's probably my favorite thing they've done since um, the loot tables in Caldera. 
And again, just bleeding out. Your teammate can't come down there for you. Don't even put the pressure or the thought in his head to do that. He'll just instantly throw if he jumps down there. And one of the reasons why I was like, he's jumping into his imminent death is he jumped in the hole that he knew he's gonna have to work himself out of and it would have been a little, really difficult. You know people are gonna be down there. So I, I'm, sh I'm shocked he didn't uh, play up top of this team, honestly. Now to be honest, again, I've only been able to play two games of this. I haven't discovered this part of the map, so I ain't gonna speak on him not knowing it. Most players probably don't. Zombie view rocking the pistol. Enemy to our right hand side. You hear him on the roof above you. Execute, execute. Respect. Respect, big dog. I love it. We do have a buy station. Yellow does have money. Yellow does have money. I think I was waiting, he's waiting for him to bleed out. There it is. No, my, my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, but good play nonetheless. Enemy vehicle to right hand side. Sounds like it's really in the distance. You're jumping out there, no cover and concealment. Even if you know that enemy is an easy kill, even if he is, there's still other enemies around us. You gotta play the vehicle, brother. You got to. Not to mention, we heard gunshots on the right hand side as well. Close. We knew there was danger close, and we still decided to take an easy kill that apparently wasn't that easy. Not really the best play in the world. Not the best play world at all. Not the best. Not the best play in the world at all. All right, but we are doing something. Not really. All right, take this loot. Like it. Uh, uh. Y'all got some questionable builds. You might want to reload your gun before you jump on a vehicle. Yeah, because you get off. Guess what? Now you got no bullets. Oh, we're going to melee people to death. Oh, yeah, here it is. I mean, pure panic. You saw where the circle's going? Notice how it's favoring him. We were sit we sat right here. We grabbed all that loot. The enemies all had to come to us. If we just would have sat there and held it, would we have been able to win the game? Eh, debatable, but we would have been in a way better position to do so. Moving on though to Noomba rocking 10. You've got him rocking 11. You've got him rocking nine. That's a good team. And him rocking 10. Wait, same guy. Yes, yeah, so they're rocking almost all of them double digit kills. Doing really well. Trying to get our teammate back. Not really sure why. It's a 4v1 now, but it is what it is. And there's not much you can do. 4v1 position, your only play is to hopefully get a knock and then another knock. But the odds of it happening are very, very slim. Still, make an attempt. You see how the enemy's hiding? You never hide. You're not gonna win this 1v4. There's no fucking way in hell. Unless you have a gas mask. If you have a dirty, maybe. If he doesn't have a dirty though, he's just, he's just prolonging the inevitable. Um, I am kind of concerned though. Oh, he hears him. Wait, he flared and they still lost? 